Zer's back and we're going to find out what he has for his inventory this week and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So, Zer is located at the Traveler, so we have already marked him and we're going to go find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left hand side. We have the Crimson, which is interesting for the weapon of the week, which is a hand cannon. Intrinsic perk on this is banned weapon, which this weapon fires a three round burst. And then we have small bore, accurized rounds, cruel remedy, which kills with this weapon, heal the wielder. Precision kills also refill the magazine. And then we have heavy grip. And like all wonderful exotics, they come with a plus five weapon attack mod. Now, I haven't had much, like, luck with the Crimson, but a lot of other people have. So, I'm not going to give it a bad rating just because I haven't had luck with it. So, I'm probably going to give this probably a tier 2, or maybe even a tier 1.5 in PvE, but a, definitely a tier 2 in PvP. It's a good hand cannon. Like I said, I wasn't lucky with it, but other people were. Next exotic we're going over is the Graviton Forfeit for the Hunter class. This gives you one mobility, one resilience, as well as one recovery. Intrinsic perk on this is Vanishing Shadow, which increases the duration of any invisibility effects. Your melee recharges faster while you are invisible. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, and this actually comes with a Void Ordnance mod. If you guys don't have this and you are a hunter and you do like using your tether, Go ahead, grab this. This is definitely tier 2 and PvE and PvP. And this definitely has a huge spot in the Nightfall. Um, especially when it is the Paramidian and you need to do the Confluxes. This thing helps out a lot. So go ahead and grab this. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Helm of Saint 14. This comes with 2 Resilience and 1 Recovery. And this is obviously for the Titan. Uh, in terms of perk on this is Starless Knight, which your War of Dawn blinds enemies that enter it, guarding with Sentinel Shield temporarily blinds enemies that are nearby. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, and this comes with a uh, Self-Repairing Mod. Once again, a very useful exotic. If you guys do not have it, go ahead and grab it. I would recommend it 100%, just like I did the Graviton Forfeit. This definitely is a tier 1.5 to tier 2 in PvE, as well as a tier 2 in PvP. So, next is that we'll be going over is the Vesper of Radius for the Warlock. And this comes with 3 Resilience and 1 Recovery. Turns of perk on this is Planetary Torrent, which Rifts release an Arc Shockwave when cast. Rift Energy recharges faster when you are surrounded by enemies. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as Arc Ordnance Mod. Now, this is an okay exotic to actually use, but I personally still think that the Ophidian Aspect is a better exotic to have on every subclass for the Warlock, but that's just my own opinion. If you guys, I guess want to get this by all means go ahead but it's definitely not one of those go to 100% you have to have exotics so I'm probably gonna make this a tier 2 in PvE but a tier 2.5 to even a tier 3 in PvP for the consumables we have the three of coins which it gives you a chance to get an exotic for four hours and really that's all it is and last but not least we have your faded engram let's see what we get this week on my titan faded engrams will give you an exotic that you do not already have and if you guys enjoy this destiny 2 video feel free to watch these other two videos you never know you just might like them and if you do leave a like share them and then come back for more because you know you want to thank you guys for watching and remember less guns doesn't mean less crime and I will see you guys next time.